Thanks very the, much. The full report. Thank so you. And for the next the, item, I'll excuse yeah. myself for your discussion. Thank you. Yes, thank you. <laughs> and I think Mr. Grant will be acting in Bill's place during this. Hi. <laughs> Mr. Mayor, uh, item N1 before the council is a, a memo from you to the council uh, for consideration of a one-year extension to the city manager's contract. Um, it provides no additional compensation, no changes to the agreement beyond extending its term uh, into 2016. Okay. You know, the problem I have is we have an election in a week, and there's only two people guaranteed to be up here in a week, and I feel like we're tying the hands of the future council to go ahead and extend the existing manager's contract a year. I got a couple emails about this. I'd been thinking about it already. And I mean, we, if, if we get a new council and they decide they want to extend it a year, let's say in July, they can still do that, right? And this is back there already. That they is meet correct. in July and go, okay, let's, ex let's, Correct. It, it has been a past practice. It doesn't mean you have to. You have to do it? No. Have you done it? Yes, consistently. And it's up to the majority of you, subject to any mayoral veto as to... Well, but the last time we had an election in the year, they were running on a post. And so now uh, it's, almost, it's like uh, extending the contract of a CEO right before you sell controlling interest in the company, which... Um, you know, being a public agency, that's even a private agency, is not something you'd want to do. I mean, I would make the motion to revisit it in July and let who's ever up here extend it. If they, I feel like we're extending it before they get here, and it's not really fair. But that's not a legal. That's a, that's a discussion for. Although you've looked at me, that's more know, discussion for your colleagues. If I, that's I not a legal issue. Let who's ever up here decide to extend it. I mean, I, I, especially when you're going from 15 to 16. Okay. But go ahead. Well, I don't hear a second yet, but um, Councilman Aspel and then I have a comment. Yeah, go basically, ahead. Bill, if just by extending it a year still gives, in my opinion, still gives the new council, if there's three new people up here, they still have, if, if they come in here in, in, on April 2nd and, and can the city manager, they're, they're still going to own the year, even if we give them a year or not. So it doesn't really tie them up. Yeah, but you can run the contract out sooner if you want to. Well, yeah, but historically, if if, si true. if city councils decide to get rid of a city manager, they don't say, oh, we hate your guts, we're going to wait th two and a half years. They seem to do it right now. And that's just what I've seen. Uh, and I'm not the end all on this thing in the knowledge department. But I don't see it really tie in the hands of any uh, city council, whether it's now or in June, if it's extended. And I've got some of the same emails. And uh, uh, it's not in our city manager's defense. It's not his fault that Nordstrom's left. It's not, it's not his fault the economy went in the tank. And uh, it, it just, it just things happen. And, uh, um, you know, it, it, does not, it does not tie the hands of the future city council, in my opinion. Now, you got your light on and you've got a little history there, Pat. But, uh, <laughs> um, anyway, that's, I have no problem approving it now, knowing the next council can go ahead and, and cancel it out anyway. Yeah. Well, the only thing that we're extending is just the duration of the right. contract. We're not extending the severance time. We're not extending anything that would change the parameters for this council or the next. It's exactly the same contract except for the date that it expires. The, the difference right? would be if in the year of 20, between um, January 2nd, 2015 and January, 20, uh, January 2nd, 2016. So by you extending it, yeah, any still, action you know, that- And recommend that you know, we do uh, extend the contract for your primarily because again it's not a financial consideration which is I think really important but also um, you know it'll, it'll give you know I, I think the idea of the new council coming in and extending it in July very frankly I think would be too soon it wouldn't give them enough time you know well, to really evaluate is, all of the, all the people evaluating had four to seven years experience mm -hmm. with them. Yeah. You had seven, Steve had seven, right. um, Steve had seven, Matt and I yeah, six. Council no, I mean, it is a financial issue. 
Well, that's up for you to decide. Councilman Aspel says he doesn't think that's likely. You're saying that's certainly a possibility. That's not a legal question. That's for you to decide. I feel like we're making the decision for the, the new council. I really okay. do. So I'm not going to vote for it. Just okay. No, I, I understand. Councilman Brown. No, I, I, I'm going to counter that, Bill. I, agree, I, I understand what you're saying. But when you get elected to the office, you don't get elected for three years and 50 weeks. It's, it's, it's until April 2nd or until you're out of office in the runoff. I'm not going to relinquish my uh, ability to vote on somebody's contract because it's what may happen in, in, in a week or in, in, in a runoff or something. Uh, when, when I first got elected eight years ago, I was in a runoff, and uh, you know, we, I pretty much got blown out of the first budget, remember, because it was... Base, it was. It was. They'd already decided it because I was involved in the runoff. So and they were. They were going. Oh, let's wait and see who wins that runoff to decide in the budget. They. They were. They were set in policy, and we set policy to the day we're out of office. I'm not going to say, well, I might not be here. Let's let somebody else do it. I might have just retired a month ago and went home and not showed up at a meeting. So uh, I don't think it really ties the hands of future councils. I also don't think that. I mean, if a if you had three new people up here that came in and a week later fired the city manager, it means they showed up with an agenda already, which that really pisses me off. You can't, I mean, it, it just, they're not, they don't come in with an open mind because they're not, they're not uh, taking time to, to do what, what we do as the employer of the, of the city manager. We have to evaluate all the pros and the cons. And a lot of this stuff is, is human resources by Facebook and blogs, and it's really, Really irritating, you know. We get, you know, we all get go check up. It's not your blog, not anything else, nothing to do with you. But I, you, I get these things, and and I'm going. Uh, I'm, I'm not going to be dictated to by at the at the whims of a few people on uh, on Facebook and these and these blogs and things like that. So I have no problem, you know. We all we all have problems with with people we work with or work for, and. Uh, God forbid, I'm, I'm not even close to being perfect, but the next council has the right to go ahead and say, we don't like you, Bill, we're gonna fire you, um, as we could, that would, it doesn't matter, but I, I just don't see somebody going, let's, we don't like him, let's keep him around for two and a half more years to save the couple years on contract. Historically, when, when city councils get irritated with their manager, they just cut him that day, right? And they saw it ugly in the paper. But I, I think it's our responsibility. <coughs> we're elected until we're not, and until somebody else is sworn in, and uh, that's just the way it is. Uh, you know, or else I wouldn't. I'd feel guilty about making any any decision tonight, you know, uh, or or whenever, because we're not may not be here. So anyway, I'm, I'm comfortable doing it. I don't think we're we're uh, tying up the next generation at all, and uh, it's just. The way it is, and I'm gonna. Is there a motion on the floor? No, there's not a I'll motion. I'll make a motion that we go with the mayor's recommendation. I'll second it. Okay, Councilman Brown. Uh, look, this doesn't have anything to do. Well, I shouldn't say that, but we have an election in a week, and uh, the previous years we've always done this in January, right? So that's, well, that's, it's, it stops at January second, 2016. Right, so it's right. not technically retroactive, but you're not going a year that's into stopping. February. Like, yeah. Not pushing it a year from nine months. Yeah, I, think, I don't think Bill's going to quit because we don't extend this a year. Well, so, you had four uh, years to evaluate him. I had six and he had seven. So if we didn't make up our mind in that period of time, I don't think they're going to do anything different in three weeks. And I didn't say in three weeks, but I may not be here in a month. So um, I'm just not, I'm not going to vote for it. I, I think it's premature and let the, let the next council extend his contract two years uh, if they want to. Actually, it's a maximum of three years. Okay, fine. <laughs> so. mm -hmm. Okay, no, thank you. Um, okay, Robert Carlsborg, representing the POA and the Coalition for City Associations. Hi, good evening. Mr. Mayor, Councilman. Uh, I have a uh, letter from the uh, Coalition of City of Employees, but before I get into that, what I would like to point out is that the city manager does have a valid contract. Uh, there's nothing that if you don't vote on this contract tonight, that he is out. Uh, I believe his contract runs through 2015. As it is, so there's nothing to say a week before an election that you can't put this vote off until a council meeting after that election. Just like Caesar's wife must be above reproach, so must the council be transparent. And I believe, and the POA believes, it looks bad to the voters to sneak in a deal at like this a week before the election. 
Uh, this letter is signed by uh, all the city employee groups, California Teamsters Local 911, the RBCEA, Redondo Beach Professional and Supervisory Association, the Redondo Beach Firefighters Association, Redondo Beach POA, and the Redondo Beach POA Police Management Unit. Dear Mayor and City Council, it's recently come to our attention that you'll be considering the extension of the city manager's contract of February 2016 at tonight's city council meeting. We respectfully request that you delay the decision to allow the Employee Bargaining Unit Coalition to have input on this extremely important matter. Thank you. Okay, anybody else on this particular item? No, okay, um, okay, come on, come on. Good evening, sir. Hi. Mr. Mayor, Councilman. Um, as I understand it, Bill Workman is the highest you paid. You a... Yeah, if you could state your name for the record, oh, please. Oh, my you. name is Christopher Quain. Thank you. Um, as I understand it, uh, Bill Workman is the highest paid city employee there is in Redondo Beach. Mm, not sure that that's accurate, but okay. Sure. I, um, thanks to the sunshine laws in our beautiful city, I have a copy of his contract, and it says that he makes 223 thousand four hundred sixty three dollars a year which comes out to eighteen thousand six hundred twenty one dollars ninety two cents a month so um, he I have no idea whether he's worth that or not I'm not here to count comment on that um, but also because of these beautiful sunshine laws I have copies of credit card expenditures for a number of city employees, uh, among them Mr. Workman. And in fact, it really surprised me to find out that there are 176 city employees with credit cards. And in the last two years, over $1 million $1,056,000 approximately was spent on these credit cards, of which, according to these records, uh, Bill Workman spent $41,496. Some of these expenditures include uh, Portola Hotel and Spa in Monterey, California, Ham Supreme Shops in Redondo Beach, um, Hilton Hotels, Redondo Beach Cafe, Rosine's Restaurant in Monterey, Fandango, Margaritaville in Capitola, <laughs> um, The Corner Bakery, The Corner Bakery, Good Stuff, Starbucks, Blue Water Grill, um, Paul Martin's Bistro, in El Segundo to the tune of $361.14 at one sitting. Call me crazy, but somebody's making $18,621 a month could probably afford to buy their own coffee. They might be able to, to pony up for their own drinks. And as far as his contract goes, I can't see how it's not a financial matter. You're guaranteeing him another $223,463. Thanks very much. Sir. Appreciate your input. Thank you very much. Um, thank you. Okay. Thanks very much. I, uh, <laughs> I just hope that someone will look into a million dollars in credit card expenditures in two years. Okay, thank you. Anybody else on this particular item? Okay, um, motion on the floor. All those in favor say aye. 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 Okay, opposed? No. Okay, with Councilmember Brand dissenting then, so ordered. Okay, thank you. Okay, next item is N1. 